Hello YouTube, this is Miss Adventures, your selfie whisperer, and I have a five minute cooking tip. So I just bought pre-cut um, mushrooms so I don't have to cut them and wash them. Uh, they're already washed and cut. I have an onion which I did cut up. I have some uh, some garlic spread so I don't have to handle garlic and I went ahead and put it in my pan. Um, the reason that I cook with butane instead of propane is because um, the this is a 1975 and the propane line uh, there's a problem with the regulator from when I bought it. It's on the list of things to do. So I always keep a backup uh, butane. And one of the benefits is it's isolated so that I don't have to uh, worry about, you know, a, a tank, uh, the propane tank exploding or anything like that. So on and um, put my Rachel Ray pan down here. Um, I I'm not a fan of this pan uh, because it burns the bottom. Everything burns. So what you want to do is always keep some kind of fluid at the bottom. Um, butter is not enough. It will burn very hot. But then again. It might be better for electrical. Electrical takes longer. Butane, any kind of gas, goes very, very fast. So, um, and that's why I'm confident I can cook in five minutes. Also, I'm not the most, uh, oops, lovely. I'm not the most patient cook, and I'm a single person. So, uh, single people don't have to cook for 15 although there's always somebody with OCD that uh, can do things a little differently what I like to do is take a pan and put it over the other pan so that it increases my cooking time uh, faster I this is a little big for it but that works I want to talk to you about the philosophy of cooking uh, with regards to, uh, especially if you're a single person, but if you're traveling. So rice, uh, yeah, you can cook rice in, what, 10 to 20 minutes or 8 minutes, whatever. But you need water for rice. And again, this is a water-saving tip when you're cooking. So um, instead of... Instead of... Um, Cooking rice with a lot of water, or cooking pasta even, but rice specifically with a lot of water. What you want to do is, or what I do, because there's less waste, is buy these pre-cooked, uh, they have uh, different brands, these pre-cooked uh, rice packages. It's actually probably about uh, two servings. Uh, and... Uh, Yep, and it says perfect in two minutes. Um, it's there's nothing to do except warm it up. They say to microwave it, but you don't have to microwave it. What you do is you simply have whatever it is you want. So I'm making uh, mushrooms, and uh, and then I have this is uh, chicken broth. So I have some chicken broth, which I'm going to put in the bottom in a minute. So it's already almost there. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and I have eggs. A couple of eggs that I'm going to break in here. Come back, come back, come back. There we go. Okay. 
Look at this with one hand. Are you impressed? So I'll just go ahead and use a spoon. Um, and uh, you have to keep, that's the thing with the, this pan. An aluminum pan is that the egg will stick to the bottom. But that's okay. Uh, because I have something else in mind here. So I'm just cooking the egg, mixing it with the other ingredients. And just getting it to where it's cooked. So that's done. Maybe turn it down a little bit. So my egg is already cooked. Oops, sorry. There we go. And then I add my chicken broth on the bottom. There we go. And mix it one more time. And you don't get to see very much. Sorry. I'm just realizing that. Um, and then I add my rice. It's already pre-cooked, like I said. They say put it in the microwave. You don't have to put it in the microwave. And then just go ahead and um, let it soak up the chicken broth. So no water was used. And uh, Cover it up a little bit so that the steam will take care of it. And uh, that's it. Uh, then when you're done, what you have is, I don't know if you can see it, you have uh, chicken broth. The chicken broth will pretty much all get absorbed by the rice. The, uh, the eggs add, uh, you could also, if you don't want to use eggs, if you're vegan, you can use peanut butter. And then you have more of a Indian flavor, I guess, with peanut butter. Uh, always make sure there's a vent open. Always make sure there's a vent open, which I have. And uh, the nice thing is you don't have to keep it. You just wait till it comes to a boil and uh, let it sit, and then you're done. So that is a five minute meal. Uh, I just needed to get all the ingredients together. And it's delicious. Serves two people or one really hungry person. Uh, and I eat one meal and then that lasts me usually most of the day. And then I do some snacking. So uh, what I like to do then is turn it off and remove it and cover it up and then when I put it away I put it away on the opposite side of the kitchen so I have no gas stored in the kitchen area everything is on the opposite side the reason for that is that should I have a fire here with no gas I won't have an explosion it's very important um, and uh, that is your tip of the day so go ahead and subscribe uh, so it's under 10 minutes. <laughs> and this is uh, your selfie whisperer, Miss Adventure. And uh, so subscribe, share this, and uh, leave some comments.